Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here at BMW Ambato Kun Exclusive. So I would like to give a big shout out to them for allowing me to review their cars. And today I have this the new special car, the BMW X3, the LCF, the facelift, code name the G01. So basically it got a midlife facelift in Jan 2021. So from the front as you can see, the bumpers are much aggressive and it gets new LED lights. It gets uh, adaptive LEDs, so it gives a good tour at the night and the grille is much bigger now and looks better so it opens when the engine needs cooling so active grille is there so you get a skid plate there as well so from the front yeah it's way aggressive like before it was kind of plain now it's much better and much aggressive right now and in the black yeah it looks very good so it gets front parking sensors as well so this is the x drive 20d luxury line variant so as you can see the tire it gets a bridgestone tire so the tire size is 245.50 R19s and the alloy wheels look really good, disc brakes are different, bridge tone tires and the this is the like afterwards like in starting we had a, some welcome offer for the X3 which got 20 inches that was like optional and it was only for the welcome offer so now it's not available since it's been 3 months since the launch and you get this which is kind of fake so not functional and yeah turn indicator on the ORVMs and Black body color dual handles make it a nice silver lining this of the B and C pillars and you get roof wheels as well a shark fin antenna so from the back as you can see yeah it looked good like the even the tail lights you have the smoke tail lights and the rear tire size is the same 245 R19 since it's an all wheel drive event so X Drive 20D is the variant's name and the rear lights as you can see let me just dim it for you yeah the smoke tail lights look really good and the XP badging is here X Drive 20D written over here yeah so from the back yeah it looks good so let me show you the key you can unlock lock you can open the boot again directly switch on the lights from the key so let's open the boot or oh, you also get reverse parking and reverse, uh, reverse parking camera so in reverse parking camera you also get park assistance and park distance control for assistance so the boot space is 550 liters and you get a 40 20 40 split with a partial shelf here plus you get some you get a charger here and lights as well in the boot so let me open this you get a space saver tire some the toolkit and some space yeah, and so the boot is practical even the load level yeah okay this is kind of on the higher side so but overall it's easy to put in some big suitcases so it's damn usable and you can directly close the boot from the button yeah so that's good you get a rear wiper as well so a spoiler kind of treatment at the rear so opening the rear door like you also get wheel arches like body cladding is also there yeah so if you can see the door yeah, door is not that big, but the opening is also good. Like you can easily climb in, and you get uh, what do we say? Sun blind here, manual sun blind, power window control, and a silver window door handle. The door pockets are huge enough, so one one liter bottle fit easily here. So getting in and out is easy, since the car has a tall profile, and even I am tall, so that's different. And yeah, good enough. So legroom and room is good, and under thigh support is also good. So yeah, magazine holder, scooter seat back, and just a second. Yeah. So and the transmission tunnel is kind of on the higher side. It's in USB-C as well. She is on automatic climate control. So three people won't be that comfortable, but the cabin is huge enough, so I can't say much. And you get a rear armrest here with twin cup holders here. And the arm is like the height is good, so it's good. And yeah, looks good. You also get three adjustable headrests here. Yeah. So we are seat like comfort and space is good. Even you get lights. You can see the lights are there, and you get a panoramic sunroof. So that's good. Yeah. So for safety, this car gets uh, 
सिक्स एप है ए बी एस ए बी डी डायनेमिक ट्रैक्शन कंट्रोल डायनेमिक स्टेबिलिटी कंट्रोल क्रैश सेंसर टायर प्रेशर मोनिटरिंग सिस्टम क्रूज कंट्रोल ऑल व्हील ड्राइव एंड इंजन एम मोबिलाइजर मैनी थिंग्स आर दर सो या सेफ एंड हिल्ड हिल्ड ऑल कंट्रोल हिल्ड डिसन कंट्रोल सिंस इट्स एन ऑल व्हील ड्राइव कार आई कैन डो पॉकेट्स लार्ज एन एफ वन डेड बॉडी फिट ईजली एंड गेट मेमरी सीट फंक्शन एज वेल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सीट एडजस्ट बीम इज कफ प्लेट यर सो सो यू गेट यर द लाइट कंट्रोल द इंटेंसिटी इंजन में ट्रस्ट है सो दिस इज चेयरिंग व्हील सो या एंड ऑल्सो यू गेट मैन थर्ड सपोर्ट कंट्रोल यर दैट्स गुड एंड इफ यू सी द इंस्ट्रूमेंट ट्रस्ट यर इट्स शोज एक्जैक्टली विच डोर इज ओपन दैट्स गुड या obviously you're buying a beam to this so you will get those features yeah the door is like it shuts with a proper thud and you get a driver armrest with some space and a usb c with a light so coming to the center console here you get an 8 speed automatic gearbox sport comfort eco pro three modes are there auto hold function electronic parking brake is the idr controller for the multimedia and yeah you get traction control we have park- front parking sensors and this uh, auto start stop system twin cup holders a wireless charger here extra return over here and you can close this and if i show you the glove box glove box is big enough and you have a light at the as well so the quality of the cabin is like really good soft touch materials on the dash and here you can see this is a 12.3 inch display which has been upgraded just a second yeah so it supports android auto and apple carplay bluetooth on all of the so even navigation so you have navigation here as well so let me get into car you have driving information journey data sport displays x view like energy flow is in the all wheel drive car so if you go into vehicle set a tire pressure monitor add blue service requirements and one more thing to add like the ground clearance of this car is uh, 204 mm the mileage by era is 16.55 km per liter and the fuel tank capacity is 68 liters of this car if you go into setting your general settings date time units speed warning all of those stuff yeah and you have drive mode you can select like eco pro individual sport individual so it has three drive modes as i told comfort eco pro sport and the 30i the petrol one gets sport plus and we have extra light controls driver assistance parking and manual as i told park distance control activation so it has auto park as well displays interior lighting so interior lighting is the ambient lighting six colors ambient lighting and you have combinations as well so yeah and and so if i put blue the color will change yep and Yeah, key button is under climate control. So a lot of things are here, and slick to use, like not like tough to understand. Here, this is the 12.2 inch display, which you can control. Sorry, the 10.25 inch display, which you can control through a BC button on the left uh, indicator. So, like where you have the indicator system. So, G-force meter, radio. Yeah. Battery. We have a trip. Yeah, so a lot of settings here. And what do we say here? If I show you this steering, you have the cruise control system here. The volume and the call controls here. So let me show you this. Here you have the sun visor with a light. And you get twin lights here as well. Yep. And also this. Um, uh, with the light. So let me just open the sunroof. As I told, it gets a panoramic sunroof here. So you get lights at the rear as I showed earlier. So we'll go further. So that's that's the max it will go. Okay. So this is the max it will go. Being a lot of airy feeling. Even the cabin is like is. light enough not dark not dark, that dark so people won't feel claustrophobic 
so yeah now let me open the engine and show it to you So just press it, pull it twice and it will open. So you get insulation right there. And this is the engine bay. It's near to the cabin for 50-50 weight distribution. So these lines, if you see, those are those indicate the number of cylinders in the car. So twin power turbo by BMW. So this is a two-liter diesel engine producing 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. So 0 to 100 by BMW claim time is 7.9 seconds for the diesel, and petrol gets a two-liter petrol with. Uh, 250 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. That does 0 to 100 in 6.6 seconds, which does the duty in the 5 series too. Yeah, even the X4. So, one more thing to add, like BMW comparing to the GLC. Yeah, this X3 is faster, and fuel economy of the petrol is around for 13 to 14 kilometer per liter by the AIA figure, not the com not the real world economy. So if anyone is interested in buying this car, you can definitely go for it since it's an attractive car and the features what you get are absolutely top notch and the interior quality, no compromise. BMW is meant for that, like no compromise in quality, interior quality. So if anyone is interested, you can let me know on Instagram, YouTube, I, like DM on Instagram, comment on YouTube, comment on Instagram, I'll help you anytime you want. So thank you so much, please do like, share, comment and subscribe.